the compassionate Duchess. Duchess Vanessa Howard grew up during the First World War. She decided to become a volunteer nurse and help anyone she could. She worked directly behind the front lines for as many hours as she could stand, never leaving anyone behind. There was one soldier trapped in the center of the battlefield. He called and called for help and no one would go. Too afraid of the peril. Vanessa ran to collect him as a shout exploded, ending her life. That battlefield is now a graveyard. It is said that she walks about the headstone on the anniversary of the night she was killed, looking to help the men she could not save. Let's make one thing perfectly clear. I am a ghost. We appear in our true forms, whatever they may be. I suppose if I had been evil or cruel in my living days, I might not appear quite so fresh as I do now. The spirit shines through, as they say. Oh, I do like to see what the artists imagine ghosts to look like. They're always so very surprisingly wrong. Oh, my darling Vanessa, I simply must introduce you to someone. Oh, pardon us. <laughs> you don't have a choice of where you haunt. Your only choice is to stay behind and haunt or to move on into the next life. Well, I can only speak from personal experience. I was, my life, I should say, was tragically cut short on the battlefield and for some reason I find most times I cannot leave it. The one exception being on All Hallows' Eve. I believe we are tied more to places than objects. The semi-finalists for the ghost category are Alone by Ken Meyer Jr. of Orange, California. Ghost Castle by James Christopher Hill of Charleston, South Carolina. Iatrogenesis by Mandem of Tallahassee, Florida. Rehab by Mandem of Tallahassee, Florida. Ophelia by Elizabeth Shipe of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The judges have decided that the third place goes to James Christopher Hill for his piece, Ghost Castle. The second place winner is Ken Meyer Jr. for his piece, Alone. The Ghost category first place winner is Iotrogenesis by Mandem. <laughs>